Hey designers, it's me Jan and today's video will be all about design systems. Let's start. Before you start transforming your wireframes to high fidelity screens and prototypes in the design process, it's good to define patterns that you will repeat within the digital product. The collection of those patterns is called a design system. To better understand the parts and the structures of the design systems, designers developed a best practices called atomic design system. This process makes the platform consistent and easy to maintain in the future. As mentioned, the number of advantages of creating design systems is huge, but if I have to mention some, I will talk about maintaining consistency and saving time instead of creating each component again and again. Then there is a process of implementing your designs, which can be much more time demanding than the design process. By being consistent with predefined design systems, you will save tons of hours for your developers as well, who can uh, defi define code for each component and then reuse it just like we do in Figma. The Atomic Design System defines five levels of ecosystem composing an interface. Firstly, you should define tokens. Tokens are essential elements of such as a description of colors with the HEX codes, typography styles, icons, illustrations, and other basic styles like shadows applied to other uh, design elements. Once you have tokens prepared, you can move to the next level, which contains the creation of atoms. Atoms represent more complex objects in the design systems like buttons, dropdowns, checkboxes, and so on. The number of components is based directly on the needs of the project. For example, some of the components are relevant for e-commerce website and not for other interfaces. The next level of composing atoms is called an organism. Organisms are relatively complex components combining molecules and atoms as well. A great example for an organism might be a form for filling in the details to pay with your credit card on an e-commerce site checkout. Another great example of an organism is a header on the site containing navigation of a website, company logo and some other action buttons. And finally, the last level of the ecosystem designers call the templates or pages. That is a, a quite simple and obvious. It means a complete screen placing components into a layout and the final structures of interface. You can imagine, for example, a complete homepage of a website. To get help and get inspired with establishing design systems, designers can duplicate and explore the design systems directly in Figma. Another advantage of design systems is that also the biggest design-driven companies, frameworks and libraries are sharing the files publicly so you can learn from the best designers in the field. If you are already working with Figma, you definitely know about Figma community files. It contains tons of free design assets ready to use directly in Figma. You can find there also various design systems helping you with this process. Let's take a look at my five favorites. And the design open source, you can find it exactly in the Figma community files. This one is uh, one of the winners of the Community Awards from 2022, so it's really valuable file for most of the designers. If we go to the file, you can see uh, that it's really, really comprehensive uh, design system. So uh, first we have some components overview showing uh, the basic styles of the, of the components. Then uh, we have some templates and pages just to show you how to uh, how the components work in practice or in real design interfaces. And of course you have their special pages for each component. So you can see for example buttons, they are composed to primary, secondary, link text uh, buttons divided into particle groups uh, based on the uh, on its usage so for example dangerous indicated some kind of errors or some kind of important step for the users this and design system on the on their website you can see that also they have a code for each component so if you want to 
use it on your project you can uh, get uh, react codes uh, directly uh, from this library the second design system i want to show you is ios 16 ui kit for figma by joey banks he is a really active designer within the community so he continuously updating the files when new features are added to iOS eco ecosystem or when the entire new iOS version is available. The design system is handy mainly if you work on a design for a native apps uh, for iOS. So if we go to the own file you can see that the, uh, the, the file is really well structured so you can find their tokens like colors, typography and also components within this page. If we go to some uh, specific components, you can see their keyboard, for example, home indicator, which is really uh, handy if you if you uh, setting the layout for the iOS native app, you can see their status bars or for example, the status bar of a dynamic island, which is quite a new feature of the new iPhones. The next is Pegasus design system a free UI kit. Pegasus is a premium design system but even with the free light version you can get quite big value. If you go to the own file I would mention that I really love the style of the components of this design system so you can definitely get inspired uh, with the styles or get the full access I definitely recommend it. As you can see the file is really well structured again so it's covering all the states of a particular components for example buttons uh, divided to large medium small then we have a text input as mentioned it's it's a smaller design system as it, as it is a free version so you can upgrade to uh, to the premium one which is much bigger but even with this uh, light version you can get great inspiration and great value another design system that i would like to mention is material x design system ui kit just like with the pegasus it's light design system ui kit so uh, you can get the full version for paying but again e even the free version can give you quite big value you can get again inspired for example with with scaling the typography with the colors with the styles of buttons here with the states of buttons that you should include in the design system and much more so uh, definitely you can try this design system as well and for free duplicate it within the figma community files material 3 design kit this design system by Google is used across the all Google products so it's really well known and you will find it useful not only when designing uh, Android apps. If we go to the file you can see again tons of components including bottom apps bars, bottom sheets, uh, buttons included in also in a light and dark version so that's, uh, that's really cool. You can find their cards which are used by Google on their products and you can learn really a lot of things uh, including spacing of the uh, of the elements inside the interfaces and so on so definitely it's it worth to uh, to duplicate this this design system and learn from it and yeah in comparison with uh, previous two design system this one is completely free so you can check and also check the code on the material 3 website Okay, so that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video about the design systems. If you are interested in more content from the world of UX design, definitely check out my uh, course, mentoring and ebook and see you soon.